Hi, my name is Zeynep Madak Erdoğan and I'm an assistant professor in food science and human nutrition department in University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. My lab uses systems biology approaches to understand how nutrients and hormones impact breast cancer outcomes. Uh, the vast majority of breast tumors in the clinic are positive for estrogen receptor alpha. While women with these tumors typically respond well to endocrine therapies such as tamoxifen, unfortunately almost half of their alpha positive tumors will eventually recur within 10 years. Nearly 70% of metastatic tumors are ER alpha positive and more women die each year from ER alpha positive uh, disease. There are some available treatments for ER alpha positive recurrent metastatic tumors such as combinations of endocrine therapies and kinase inhibitors, however, they have been limited in impact. So the endocrine resistance remains a significant clinical problem and we need to identify novel targetable mechanism based therapeutic strategies to improve the outcomes for women with ER alpha positive recurrent tumors. In this study, our overall objective is to investigate XPO1, which is a key nuclear export protein as a critical player and therapeutic target in endocrine-resistant breast cancer. We have recently identified estrogen receptor alpha as the key factor responsible for the activation and regulation of the subcellular localization of key kinases. And based on this information, we used a combinatorial approach in which we took advantage of tamoxifen sensitive and resistant cell culture models, an animal model, and data from patient samples to delineate the role of nuclear transport pathways, particularly XPO1 in tamoxifen sensitivity and te endocrine therapy resistance. We identified high levels of XPO1, which is the major nuclear exporter of the tumor suppressor proteins, as a biomarker for tamoxifen resistance. And we also evaluated this uh, combined inhibition as a novel means to enhance the effectiveness of endocrine therapies. Using tamoxifen resistant mouse stenograph models, we showed that when we combined XPO1 and ER alpha targeting agents, this combination provided a quick, effective, and sustained tumor regression. So, our findings suggest that higher expression of selected nuclear export pathway proteins results in decreased resistance times of important nuclear factors uh, that would be involved in proper transcriptional responses to tamoxifen. Uh, however, when they are outside the nucleus, they would confer resistance to tamoxifen. Enhanced export to the cytoplasm results in key proteins communicating with other components of the cancer cell machinery and also that would increase the aggressiveness of the cells. So our results show that inhibition of nuclear export machinery would improve the therapy responsiveness and also delay the development of hormone-targeted treatment resistance and recurrence.